Think of the eighth note as getting the beat, and, and certainly use the 30 seconds as your guide. One thing that I like to think about with slower ages and that I always teach to my students is to look at the, the fastest notes in the piece, or the fastest notes that occur steadily, and kind of use that as your guide. Certainly we have one group of 64th notes here that's an anomaly, okay? The 30 second notes occur pretty regularly, and we can use those as our guide to get that eighth note pulse. I think I put in the, the online performance guides, um, something like 80 to 96, somewhere around in there. Um, but that, uh, again, keep that eighth note pulse. Think of it in three. Also pay attention to one very important marking right at the beginning, espresso. Don't, you certainly want to do a lot of the, the other dynamic markings on the page. Don't be afraid to perhaps add in a little bit more. Um, for example, you've got an accelerando marked in 11 as it's moving up to that high F, and then an on tempo. So certainly we could probably add in a retard in bar 12, and maybe a little break for a nice breath before that, uh, that next break. There are other places in here where you could perhaps uh, experiment with a little bit of tempo fluctuation in there. Certainly dynamic contrast, you've got marked on here pianissimo all the way to forte. Uh, I don't think it would hurt to maybe go fortissimo in a couple of spots perhaps, uh, especially where it gets uh, uh, climactic in the higher registers of the horn. Um, I mentioned the rubato, the cello rondo, the guitar, and so forth. Um, also, vibrato is going to be very important in, in any slow way, too. And it's not just, are you playing with vibrato or not? It goes a little bit further than that, using the vibrato within the context of the particular dynamic of the particular line. Um, a very general or generic uh, thing that I like to talk about is when you play softly, use a little less vibrato. When you play loudly, use more. And obviously that can vary even further within the context of the line. Certainly in some of these phrases that, that taper out very softly, just take a, take a vibrato out, taper it out as you taper the dynamic. Um, I've mentioned a little bit about the rhythm again. Just have to, with all these different rhythm gestures, you have to be very careful to count, uh, to count everything uh, very accurately. Yeah, we want to be musical, but that doesn't mean play with bad rhythm. Um, one spot I want to point out in particular is measure 31. At the end of that line, you, you've got, uh, uh, where is it? There it is, 31. D, C sharp, B, B flat over there at the end of the line. Dotted 16, 32nd, and then dotted 8, 16. That often gets played the same. D, da, D, da, da, but it's not that. Okay, so th there are a couple of places like that along the way. Um, lastly, there are a few errata, and one that I'm going to have to email Mr. Ruthman about that I found since I turned into performance guides. There are several places at the bottom of the page, but also in measure 36, where there's a 16th rest followed by three 32nd rests. Those should all be 32nd rests. So here's one of them. Second rest, and then down here on the last couple of lines, that all those should be 30 seconds, and then on the very last line is another similar gesture that should all be 30 seconds. Okay, so there are just a few around it in that one. We've got a few mordants, I'm um, sorry, not mordants, turns. One of them is footnoted at the bottom of the page, okay, one that occurs way over the top. The others that we have in there. Um, again, with, with the turn, you're going to go up a step in the key, back to the note, down a step in the key, or with the accidental that might be provided. I'll show you one example of that, and then back to the note. <coughs> Sorry. Measure 19. There's a sharp below the more about the turn. It, it's on the E space, but it's more importantly it's below the turn. So you want to play a D sharp down there in that turn. Okay, so that, that's how that kind of turn would be. Uh, any questions about this one?